There have been many tales that have lived on throughout the ages. Oh, for God's sake, cut! Peregrine the Pathetic, take 53. There have been many tales that have lived on throughout the ages. Tales of knights, heroes, and adventure. This is the home of one such adventurer. A man who has fought every monster in his sight and came out without a scratch. A man who has pitted his masculine strength against the pent-up rage of any dangerous and ravenous creature. So let's forget about him and focus on someone who lives next door to this brave hero. The voluptuous Peregrine. Known by his friends, if he had any, as Peregrine the Pig Farmer. Known by this story as Peregrine the Pathetic. He, who, like many others, dreams of death defying escapades and slaying predatory beasts. Who is saying that? All of this is not true! I just want to be left alone! Uh, while dreaming of being the bravest warrior in the land, Peregrine lives in a stunning house enclosed with flowers and vines. But his life would not be comprehensive if it wasn't for the support and devotion of the local villagers, which he likes to call his true friends. What? That's what we think of you, you fat, dumpy pig farmer! Sniveling son of a eunuch, it's no use hiding from me! Oh, crumbs! I forgot Mr. Walcott, the landlord, was coming paying a visit today! I haven't even got the money to pay for the rent! I'll have to think of something quickly! Where is that repulsive little sh- <gasps> I think you have explained enough. You are a true hero. I understand. Just please don't cut off me giblets, I... What? You have slain this ferocious beast. Well, not exactly, I... Uh... I knew there was something abnormal about you. I mean, on the outside, you may look like a turnip with a violent backstory. But on the inside, you... Are the greatest warrior who ever lived! But I didn't do anything! <laughs> oh, look at you, you humble sausage, you! Don't be so modest! When word gets out about this, everyone will be saying the name Peregrine the Pathetic! You know, I really think we should be keeping our voices down! Ah, yes. Good idea, good idea. We must tell the whole village about this. Oh, hang on. Let's not jump to conclusions here. Come on, Peregrine. You can tell me all about it on the way there. What do you think I've been trying to do? What do you want, Woodcock? <laughs> I come bearing news of a true heroic deed that has just occurred in our village. This is Peregrine. This young lad has just slain 
ferocious dragon. <gasps> Is this true? Well, actually, I have... Actually, I have proof right here. <gasps> I see. Oh, my goodness, it's true. This disgusting pig farmer is a hero. If you could just listen to me for one second. Well, I think we've heard enough. Drinks for everybody. <laughs> Villagers of Gaptooth Village, today we celebrate and give our deepest gratitude to our new and bravest warrior this village has ever produced. I present to you, Sir Peregrine the Pathetic. <laughs> As we have lived through these dark, smelly times, we must give our thanks to this brave young pig farmer who fought with all his might to protect our village from a ferocious beast. With this statue, you will live on throughout the centuries as the greatest human who has ever walked this earth. And now, let us celebrate once more in your name as the hero and warrior you are by looking oh, at this no. statue. What are you doing to yourself, Peregrine? You know the truth is going to come out eventually. You might as well just say it now in front of everybody while you still have the chance. It was at this point that Peregrine was beginning to regret keeping up this charade. Hang on, who's this? Who on earth are you? I got discovered, mate. But I'm telling the story. Please who? Says me, you little pipsqueak. Are you looking for a face, mate? All right, then. Put him up. Come on, then. Queen's Bury Rules. Have at you. Wait a minute. I see. I have a confession to make. Yes, go on. What is it, my boy? Speak up. I can explain everything. Thank you.